Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 15 in chapter 7. This chapter is about work and energy. And this problem is a little bit difficult, but I think we can work on it together. You can see we have an object there. The force acting on this object has a gravity, normal force, and also the force by the person, Fp, right? You need to find a work by each force. So the first thing, we don't know the force. We just don't know the displacement along the x component. So it looks like we need to find the force first. Do you agree? So we do force analysis at zero. So you can see, for this force, we have gravity force by the person and then the normal force. So we need to project the gravity at the x component and the y component, right? mg sine theta and mg cosine theta. Now how can we project the fp along x component and the y component? You can see this fp has an angle phi with the horizontal at zero. And then if we want to project at the x and the y, we need to know this angle or this angle, right? So how can we know this angle? You can see for this angle, it must equal to this angle because this this line is a horizontal, horizontal, and this is along x component, along x component. So this angle must equal to this angle. You agree? Therefore, the, this angle is a theta plus phi, right? So in this way, we can project Fp in two components. Fp sine theta plus phi, Fp cosine theta plus phi. In this way, we can solve the problems. How can we find the force? Apply Newton's second law. Then it tells you this object moves at a constant speed. So that means the acceleration is zero. So in this way, along the x component, we can write the equation fp cosine theta plus phi minus the graph mg sine theta equals zero. In this way, we find its fp. Very easy, right? Now, we can find the work. So first thing, find the work. Uh, the work by the gravity is mg is there and the d is there. The next thing, we need to find its angle. So find its angle. Uh, the angle is this one. D with the x component. Do you agree? How much is that? Look at this side. This is a 90 degree. And this is theta. So it becomes a 90 degree plus theta. Agree? The theta is given. The next one, find the work by this normal force. So it becomes F1 D cosine 90 degree because this angle is this one. 90 degree, 0. Cosine 90 degree, 0. So this work by the Normal force is zero. The next one finds the work by the person. We can see the work by the person. This is Fp. Let's change the color. This is Fp, and this is a displacement, so angle between them, theta plus phi. Do you agree? So Fp times d cosine theta plus phi. Then we input is Fp inside. We get the final answer. And there you can input all the numbers in, inside. To get the final answer, right? So in this one, this angle is a uh, theta is a uh, seventy degree. This one is twelve degree. And then after you input all the numbers inside, you can get the final answer. Look at this one. Thank you.